The next topic we're going to talk about is something called scope. Scope essentially means where can a variable or a subprogram be used. Um, up to this point in the course, we've always created our variables up at the top of our programs. For example, I might have a variable saying, let's say var first name, and I can even assign it to, let's say, Trevor. And let's do another one, var last name, and we'll assign that equal to Lane. Very simple, var first name, var last name. Now let's say I wanted to create a function. Now down below, I'm gonna create another function that displays the full name. Function display, oops, lowercase f, display full name. And it's gonna require two pieces of information, first name and, well, let's give it a, just to give it a unique name, f name and l name. Now inside of here, all I'm going to do is create the full name, or and I could do it. I could do it simply just right inside the code. I could just say console.log and concatenate the two f name plus colon space plus l name, and that would work just fine, and that's no problem. Um, but I do have other options. What I can actually do is I can actually create a variable inside of this subprogram. Now our variables at the top, they're called global variables. And the reason why they're called global variables, it means that they're accessible globally. We can use these variables anywhere in the program. So inside of here, I could actually put first name and last name if I wanted to. Um, I'm using the parameters because this allows me to um, decouple. What that means is I can create a subprogram that if it has no direct attachments to the rest of the program, I could then copy and paste that subprogram into another program altogether and it'll still work. If I actually start to use the global variables inside the subprogram, that means that it must be it must exist inside of this subprogram in order or sorry inside of this program in order to work because it has a direct link. So by using just these parameters, it gives me flexibility as a programmer. I can reuse my, my work, not only in the same program, but in other programs altogether. Anyways, so those global variables give us the ability to access them globally. I can use them anywhere inside of the entire program. If I create a variable inside of a subprogram, we call this a local variable. Let's save our full name. And we're gonna assign it the value of the first name plus a space plus the last name. And then down here under console.log, all I have to do is write out full name. Now this comes with a few important points. First of all, a local variable, because it's local, is only in existence, is only accessible within the block of code it was created. So for example, it was created inside of this display full name block of code inside of these opening and closing braces, which means it is only accessible in there. If I tried to use full name down here, console.log full name, it actually will not give me what I expect. It will not have f name plus l name. It will not do that. It, it is not linked. It's not the same variable. Um, so our local variables are only accessible within the, within the block that they're created in. This also means that they're actually destroyed as soon as the final brace, the closing brace, is executed. It's deleted from memory. So a quick little question for you. If a variable is deleted at the end of a subprogram, does that mean we can create another variable in another subprogram with the same name? Well, yeah, it does. Because as when, it's, when it's deleted from memory, it's essentially deleted from the dictionary which means I can actually do that. More on top of that, I could actually use the same name as these variables up here. What will happen is the local variables will take precedent, which means JavaScript will use the local version before it will use the global version. 
So we have to be very careful about our naming. That's why it's always good to have unique names when we're doing this so there's no confusion. All right? So try, try to use unique names um, even in your local context. So these local variables are used for um, the direct use inside. What we want to do is we want to try and avoid using global variables whenever possible. If a variable can be local, it should be local. The main reason for this is memory management. If a variable is global, that means it is in existence for the entire life of the program. However, if a variable is local, that means as soon as the subprogram is complete, it's deleted, freeing up that memory for other uses, whether that's images, sound, other programs, whatever it is. It allows us to keep our, pro keep our computers running smooth. So um, that's variable scope.